From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae folk. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and are fallen on the field would soon rise as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Do you think this one is that? Alpha? Hold on. Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. One of the human women. Looks Almain to me. And in good shape. These Almain women. Wound tighter than a Barani crossbow. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
We're all over. Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Stay away! You hadn't come along. Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked! We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this thing. Right this way. Uh, you go first. Greatest invention, the Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death. If you can find anything useful. something?
going to need more than just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. an enemy unaware, their speed more... more than makes up for their size. Cave Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Incredible! What are you?
completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them! Get a light! This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawafa here. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tawafa realize what you are. You'll need them. directly ahead, in his study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. That's why leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. 
Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tuatha have reached the lab! That inside the... Ah. <laughs> No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
They saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did they really have a troll? I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. Good luck out there. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help it. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The gods told me the of souls on the day was to die. the old man well honestly although we did a lot of drinking after that spare a little help in the of Hughes or in celebration yes. which you you're the one then that means it all makes this I drew the grave digger and Prepare yourself. They're coming. Threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world is supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. Seeing your pattern of death, who take or should be? You're right? Which you're not, but undeniably yours is just this doesn't make sense. All mortals have a place in the path. You should have one too. And I'm not saying the path is yours. It could change the assign of 
or may pause. Don't read it. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'll see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? in halls of lore, their echoes none more grand than Olain's many feet, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your- I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fey may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fey. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fey named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fey will know how to heal a fey. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. The mission hiding. Whatever you do, the monks of St. Odwig's perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. The light of hope will leave you in shadow. Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwig's have worked years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our don't have the will to... Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. May Mitharu protect you. Where is the order that Mitharu has given us? I drink. see no order in obstructing the truth. That is chaos! That is what the mission fears! The Fey are not our enemy.
Only those who seek to poison us should be reviled. That includes the brothers of St. Odwigs.
Don't start any trouble. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmar and the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Good riddance. You'd likely cheat me out of the treasure anyway. Now you're interested. I see what you're after. You're selfish like all the other mortals. No matter. If you wish to help, then so be it. They are Fey Twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They promise to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. See you later. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest, ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great Fey mage Armin the Clever retreated heavens to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Yeah. <laughs> 
A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a Fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Fae are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are all to play. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. 
There. You best get baby Egan back to his bassinet. His mother will be worried. Farewell! I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so... magical. You must think me a fool. And Father didn't... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Goodbye now. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power! Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. Goodbye now. Come, on to St. Odwigs. Must we return to the mission? Although all of those things are quite frightening. Father Dimwell and the others are fools, and their silly mission will win by then. about Brother Egan. He's still missing. And we all make it. Come, on to St. Odwigs. Bye then. 